So Chino and Sean uh, from Crosses, uh, good to have you here at Noise11.com. And uh, fantastic to finally get uh, some more new music from you. I mean, we've been getting dribs and drabs since 2020, but, you know, we're now starting to get, you know, what is shaping up to look like what could be a second album? Or am I yeah. jumping too far ahead here with the album? No, I think, I think uh, you know, I, I think a, a lot of, we, we were kind of figuring out as we were going as well, but I think that it's getting, the, the picture's getting a little clearer now for us of, you know, what we're trying to do. So, uh, yeah, it feels good. I guess if we look at the amount of new music that you've had since uh, 2020, there is collectively enough songs there for an album. And I guess, you know, that debut album in 2014 was exactly that, wasn't it? It was a, a, a basically a compilation of what had come uh, before in the EPs prior to that. Yeah. Yeah. The only difference with that is that we sort of, in the beginning, we had the we had the kind of full idea that we were going to put out an EP. Um, and it, the, cool way, the cool thing about actually the project in general was like, you know, we, it was very unsolicited, like where no one even knew that there was a project called Crosses or whatever that we had been working on music. So we, we were sitting on almost just around 15 songs at one point. And when we decided, hey, if we break this up into three EPs, um, you know, it, it could kind of be an, an album for the stuff, but kind of just like piece it out, you know? Um, so when we started back up again, yeah, I mean, we, uh, we didn't have that clear of a vision of, of what we, what and how we were going to do it. But we, but we're definitely sitting on a lot of material where you know we can, we kind of have options now, which is kind of cool. So where are you sitting at the moment? Are you in the airport, the studio, uh, your yeah. studio there, Sean? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is it. So this is where all the magic happens. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. This is it. Yeah. I mean, we've been well. Sean's been you've been living here for a while and and had the studio for a while. Yeah, I mean, the recent stuff has been has been mixed uh, in another place, but. Uh... Yeah, everything in here, you know, from all the instrumentation, uh, all the vocals. Vocals are just off camera in there. Uh, but yeah, all, if all those, here. We have if, fun if, here. If, those, if those walls could talk, there's been quite uh, some impressive acts through there, hasn't there, over the years? Yeah. Yeah. Well, the walls actually have been talking in, in the form of an EP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know that's kind of what it is. It's like we get in here, and it's 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 hard not to be inspired by all this gear, and you know, yeah, it's kind of a good hang, you know. So yeah, we just kick it here, and um, yeah, just make yeah. make noise. What I love, what I love about Crosses uh, as a as a, as a music collective is that it, it is totally removed from what Deftones is. I guess it's a little closer to far, but not so far. It's close. <laughs> <laughs> nice i like what you did there yeah um yeah i mean you know it's it's as far as it could be it's 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 uh it's my voice still so it's kind of you know i can't go too far from that i'm i'm gonna sound like me i think you know for the most part um but the music that you know that we've generated is not really uh based around you know acoustic drums and loud guitars and whatever i mean um so uh so yeah it gives it was a different bed there to you know to uh for me to to lay my voice over and um yeah but uh, honestly i don't approach it any any differently you know as far as my part of it is of, of being a vocalist i i uh i kind of take it the same way i would any anything that i really work on is just you know hear the hear the music and sort of be inspired by it and react to it and uh, that's what it's been yeah the uh dynamic that you two have working together i guess goes way back to when you were kids because you were you were childhood friends weren't you yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, late, late teens, early, early twenties. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's when we kind of uh, discovered each other and, you know, around town, Sacramento, California, um, we are both playing in bands and, um, you know, um, we're fans of each other's bands and feel like we sort of pushed each other as well. Like, you know what I mean? Like, Oh, I, I can't, I'd hear something he's working on, um, you know, and vice versa. And we'd sort of just like, you know, push each other to sort of, you know, figure out, you know, where we wanted to do musically and, and, um, Although not together, and and I and even back then though we did have a conversation, and one night we were hanging out just about like, hey, we should try to make a project together, um, and not that we were thinking that it was going to be crosses or what it would be about or what it would be like, but I think just our our musical kinship and the, like the fact that we loved a lot of the same music, had a lot of the same influences, I uh, always thought it'd be fun to like do something together. So back in those teen uh, uh, years, was there ever talk of you two, you know, being together in a band at that point? Or did you seem to 
go off in in different areas. Shino into Deftones and you with Far. I think it was just more like we would hang out and we would probably be just like listening to music, you know, not our music, our own music, but like some other stuff and be like, oh, have you heard this? Oh no, I haven't heard that. Or, or yo, you heard this? Oh yeah, I love that. Like, and then I think we'd, I think maybe one of us had said, oh, we we got to do something together one day. But that was, you know, yeah, it was it was more just ago. like a. I don't want to say a fleeting thought, but it was just like, you know, wouldn't it, wouldn't it be cool? But obviously, um, you know, being busy with our, you know, our, our main gigs that, that we never really got around to it, not until like, you know, 2013 or 20, 2012 or 2013 or something like that, or maybe 20, 2012 around when we first started sort of working on the first cross and stuff. Yeah. It was like 2012. Um, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, and actually sure. where we're at right now at Sean's studio, um, it's in Burbank, California. <clears throat> I used to live like right, like one block over. And so this, I would just come over here just to hang out. Like not, uh, Sean would be working on whatever projects he was working on. And I would just come sit back on the couch back there and like he'd let me hang out and see what he's working on and listen. And, you know, so it wasn't even, you know, anything that really like, okay, now we got to downtime. Now let's do it. It wasn't even that. It was just like, you know, and it was very organic. And I feel like, you know, some of the best projects, some of the best bands or whatever are things that sort of just like organically happen and they're not so like preconceived like idea of what it's going to, what it's supposed to be or whatever. So I think that's what kind of kept it, kept it interesting and fun for us, you know? Yep. Yeah. So I guess like with the <laughs> symbolism of crosses, with the actual symbol of the crosses, mm -hmm. uh, in some ways, it's almost like the symbol of crossroads, isn't it? With your two paths coming to back together as this band. I've never heard that, but yeah, yeah. No, that's the first right there. That's an exclusive right there. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm serious. We haven't heard that one. <laughs> you, but you may use that one. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you credit so, though, man. Yeah. So when did um, uh, Permanent Radiant uh, start coming together as a body of work? Um, probably since I would say, if I had to think of eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, I mean, you know, pre-pandemic. We uh, we'd done a couple sessions and they weren't they didn't start off as like even hey let's get together and make music it was like Sean was coming up with his wife to come uh, visit uh, up in Oregon my my wife and I and stay like a week or whatever you guys came and stayed yeah. stayed a little bit with us and uh and he just so happened to bring his laptop and I don't know if he brought like a little a couple of little pieces of gear that yeah, fit not, in his backpack not and much you know just... and uh yeah we went to my studio and then we just started like you know tinkering around kind of making some stuff and that was sort of like like uh yeah we just kind of started building ideas then but still not in the mindset of like oh this is the start of the, the whole new thing you know it kind of just fell you know organically again back kind of in you know into place and it felt natural and you know when, once we started hearing some of the, the progress and we started going through i think we both kind of got inspired by that and uh eventually started building a, a work you know sort of like a, a work list of stuff and you know, making little X's by it and, and uh, you know, workload. And, and uh, we're still doing that now. I mean, we, you know, we have sitting on a lot of material. Um, so, so with Permanent Radiant itself, we decided, uh, you know, if, if we're going to make an EP, there's six songs. So we kind of just looked at the, at the list and picked six songs that sounded, that were probably six songs that were closest to probably being finished vocally and, and mix ready pretty much. And, um, and kind of put those like, you know, in a little group and, and uh focused on those and once those were were done we were back here you know the day after i think the release or whatever we were already back at it you know what i mean um yep. sort of just like working on for what's next what order did those six songs come in is it the order that we hear them on the ep no no, no. that's a good question i think yeah. very random actually uh so holier is probably the oldest song on there um i would say uh Procession is maybe the newest one, mm -hmm. or maybe ca uh, ca Cadaver. Yeah, uh, one of the, one of those two. But uh, I think uh, Sensation was the 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 first song on the re record was that was started uh, in in Oregon. We started working on that one uh, when I went up there. Not the first time, but the second time I went up there. And um, something else. Yeah. yeah, it's a kind of it's kind of like that's kind of the cool thing about it too. It's like uh, even right now, when we're looking up at the list, uh, you know, this stuff is sort of from different times, um, some different places, 
Um, but yeah, it's like, it's kind of fun to like, to see how it all kind of goes together. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, so what was that? That was, uh, you know, we're looking at like four years now, just like, you know, stuff that's been made over that time frame, And, uh, and we continue still to make, to make, um, current stuff as well. So it's fun to like blend all that stuff together and it somehow works, you know, um, <clears throat> they, they seem it seems to you know complement each other you know if we go back uh you know just a year or two before that i think the uh the start of uh this recording process was the beginning of the end which i, I believe cause and effect to uh, cover yeah, yeah. Uh, were you a fan of the song or a fan of the band uh well that's a good question um we had i'd heard of the band before um they're they're from sacramento california where where, where, where sean and i are both from so it was kind of cool. Like, I think one of the sessions we were in here and, um, and it, one of us was like, yo, have you heard that? Whatever, whatever this band was from Sacramento. And they're like total, like, you know, that very Depeche mode very, you know, that kind of era, like the, the sounds they use and the, the songs they made. And I was like, wow, I did not know that this band existed when we lived in Sacramento. Like we were sitting there making, you know, working on, you know, making like, you know, hard rock albums i had no idea that this band ex existed during during that time later on we found out about them so it was exciting so when uh, uh one day he sent me a demo and it was the uh, just the music of the, of the, the song the beginning of the end and um that he had made and i didn't even know what it was i hit him back i was like what is this he's like that's that that song that, that like, you, you sent me this song yeah it, bro <laughs> from, like, uh, from cause and effect it? and i was like oh yeah that's what it is and then i went in my studio at home and and i recorded a uh, a vocal over it which is actually the vocal that ended up on it and sent it back to him and he put it he put it together and um and that was actually sort of the catalyst of of us really like kind of like we put that out on, on christmas eve i think 2020 and and uh that and then once that was out it was kind of like it kind of woke i feel like it woke crosses up you know kind of woke their project back mm -hmm. up and kind of inspired us as well to kind of get back to work mm -hmm. Uh, going back even further, uh, I mean, how cool is it to work on a <laughs> Batman soundtrack uh, on on that game? Was wow, the song that. of the years? Was that was that uh, created for Batman the game, or did you have that one already? Uh, uh, yeah, it was already it was already finished. I think it was one that we maybe knew wasn't maybe wasn't going to be on the album um, or or on any of the EPs, and I think I think it just came about that way. I think they you know whoever was doing that soundtrack would just like hit us up and, you know, probably asked, Oh, do you have any songs for this? And I think that's one we sent in and ended up being in there. The uh, remix you did for uh, Rob Zombie with uh, Dragula. Uh, was that actually oh, both of you working that. on that? Uh, that was Sean. That was Sean. That's all you. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's hard to remember. Like that was, that was a while ago. So yeah, I think that was me. It was probably right? another one of those things where like, we got hit up by Rob's people, whatever, yeah. and, and we're just like, uh, they're like, hey, we're putting together this thing. They, you know, they, they inquired about Cross is doing something, and I was like, Sean, do you think you do something with this? He's like, yeah, I can probably do something with this. And I actually heard it when, you know, when it was done. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's just a shame that you weren't used for cameos in the Monsters movie, huh? Right. I know, man. I got you know, I get my, I got my sad card, man. What's up? Yeah, a Chino would have made a great grandpa. Yeah, Sean, on. you could have been Eddie. Yeah, I'll do. I'll there you do, go. You can use my, wait, no, I'm thinking of a different movie. I'm thinking of the Ashman. I was like, I could be in the hand. Oh, yeah, that's uh, the <laughs> thing. Yes. That's Wednesday. Uh, that's yeah. another show. Um, yeah. Is is Sean, a uh, question for you, is is, is far over? Uh, you know, we're 12 years down the track of uh, when uh, that band ended. Will there 100%. be a reunion? 100%. 100%. 100% 100% oh, over. Oh yeah. Okay. Most definitely. <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty definite. Yeah. And Deftones uh, Chino 2020 was 100%, the last album. 100 over. No I'm kidding. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're we're just we're we're just you know chipping away on some new music. Uh, uh, those guys are at least um, at the moment. And uh, yeah, we have some sporadic shows over the next couple of years or, or years or so whatever. But uh, but for the most part, yeah. We're, I mean, we're just kind of winding down and uh and uh yeah taking some time off for the most part and some uh, crosses shows possibilities there in 2023 yeah we're we're, we're hoping we're hoping so we're, we're, yeah. that's that's uh that. we got some of our management sitting behind us whatever and that's that's what our conversations are going to be about today sort of planning that out and see what that looks like for uh for 2023 
Okay, well, hopefully we'll get you down in Australia again, and um, this time uh, we'll avoid the Mexican restaurants. Right? Yes. <laughs> I like it, by the way. I think uh, I ate it three I, times when I was uh, there uh, last uh, week. It must have been an off day. <laughs> Guys, great to talk to you. It's good to hear some new music from Crosses. Thanks awesome. for joining right us. On. It was a lovely Thank you. Appreciate you. All right.